The shocking death of Lisa Marie Presley left the entertainment world devastated. Now, Lisa Marie's daughter, Riley Keough, has broken her silence about her mother's tragic passing. New details have emerged about how the Presley family will say their final goodbye to Lisa Marie. The singer and only daughter of Elvis and Priscilla Presley died at age 54 on January 12, 2023, after suffering an apparent cardiac arrest. The news came as a shock to many, given that Lisa Marie attended the Golden Globe Awards with her mother and Elvis star Austin Butler two days before her death. According to the New York Post, Lisa Marie already appeared frail and unsteady during the event and was seen clutching onto the arm of her friend Jerry Schilling for support while chatting with extra host Billy Bush. Yeah, I, I'm going to grab your arm. Yes. Um. Now, Lisa Marie's daughter, Riley Keough, has revealed new details about her funeral and where she will be laid to rest. A public memorial service will be held in honor of Lisa Marie Presley at her father's Graceland home in Memphis, Tennessee. A representative for her eldest daughter, Riley, confirmed the news in a statement to People on January 16, 2023. It reads, Riley, Harper, Finley, and Priscilla are grateful for the support, well wishes, and outpouring of love honoring their beloved Lisa Marie. A public memorial service has been arranged on the front lawn of Graceland at 9 a.m. on Sunday, January 22nd in Memphis. According to Riley's spokesperson, Lisa Marie will be laid to rest at Graceland next to her son Benjamin Keough, who died by suicide in 2020. She will join her father Elvis Presley, his parents, and his grandmother at the Meditation Garden in Graceland. Lisa Marie considered Graceland to be her happy place, according to grief counselor David Kessler. In lieu of flowers, the Presley family is urging fans to donate to the Elvis Presley Charitable Foundation, which offers support to organizations focusing on the arts, education, and children's programs in the Memphis and Whitehaven area. Aside from Riley, Lisa Marie's daughter with her ex-husband Danny Keough, the singer is survived by her mother and twin daughters Harper and Finley, with her fourth husband Michael Lockwood. While plans are being made for the Presley family and close friends to say goodbye to Lisa Marie Presley at Graceland, it sounds like Lisa Marie and ex-husband Michael Lockwood's twins probably won't be heading back there to live anytime soon. It's thought that Harper Lockwood and Finley Lockwood have been spending time at the home of Lisa Marie's mom, Priscilla Presley, in Los Angeles. Following their mom's tragic death, with TMZ reporting, the teenagers are currently just too upset to return to their iconic home. At Priscilla's California house, the twins have reportedly been getting a lot of support from their grandmother, Riley Keough, and their dad. Michael previously confirmed he'd been taking care of his daughters shortly after Lisa Marie's death was confirmed. A statement from Lockwood's lawyer obtained by ET read, Michael had been hoping for a speedy and complete recovery because her children needed her. It is very sad it didn't turn out that way. Michael's world has been turned on its ear. He is with both of his daughters now. Of course, Graceland is synonymous with the Presley family, so it only seems fitting that Lisa Marie Presley's surviving children will inherit the iconic property. And it sounds like that's exactly what's happening. The massive Memphis mansion, which is looked after by a trust and used to belong to Lisa Marie's father Elvis Presley, will reportedly become the property of Lisa Marie's children following her passing, with Riley Keough, Harper Lockwood, and Finley Lockwood becoming the new legal owners. Lisa Marie's representative confirmed the plan for the iconic estate to people. As confirmed on Graceland's official website, Lisa Marie became the sole heir to the estate after Elvis's death in 1977 and the deaths of her paternal grandparents. Graceland wasn't legally hers until she turned 21 years old, though, which was a request stated by her father in his will. The original trust the estate was left in automatically ceased to exist on Lisa Marie's milestone birthday, though she opted to set up a new version called the Elvis Presley Trust alongside Priscilla Presley.